So what's up everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to some more Dying Light number one. We're going to be playing some side quests here today and just basically goofing around. <laughs> and it's funny, unrelated note, but like you guys have no idea like how much that like I like all of a sudden like I'm just like so excited today because guess what? One of my favorite games, in fact, pr probably it is my favorite of all time. Like I I've recently like revitalized like my list of like some of my favorite things like and not like just like biases or, like nostalgic in the way. But uh, Overwatch in particular, uh, Overwatch 2, the beta has been announced for April sometime like at the very end, like the last week or so. So signups are available right now and I want to sign up for it so bad, but I just for the life of me, could not get in. I felt like the the let me in guy meme or just like let me in, let me in cuz like I, I couldn't get in. Like this is exactly like uh what it was like when you're trying to buy a PS5 or an Xbox Series X. It's just that there's not enough uh manpower to keep the websites from crashing. You would think with all these big tech companies that they would I don't know like have like to pre to prevent their servers from essentially getting DDoS cuz like literally it's like accidental DDoSing, like all this, just a whole bunch of people spamming the website so much that it just crashes. You would think that these websites would not have that issue <laughs> and and apparently no. So now I'm regularly trying to like every little bit here or so, because it, it was announced like at noon Eastern and I, I saw it like a little bit late, like when I was just scrolling Twitter, like a little bit like after I woke up. I woke up like the hour before and just decided to start checking Twitter and I was like, oh shit, they're actually doing it. I was like, blah, 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 blah. and I was just like, it doesn't let me in. And uh, I just was like, you know what? I'm going to come back to this in like 20 minutes. I showered all that stuff, still having an issue. And then at like 1.30 Eastern time, they said that, oh, uh, we have this too much traffic. We got to like, you know, manage the website. Please come back. Try again later. And like, God damn it. So now I'm thinking to myself being like, if they only like for some reason cap the beta at like some capacity, I can't play it, and, and that's the last thing I want to have happen, uh, because I love Overwatch so much, and, uh, for Overwatch is that, like, uh, even though the second game, you know, like, a lot of people said, like, you know, like, Overwatch has gotten so many hate over the last couple of years, and I understand that this, that's because it's run by Activision, we all know about every little thing that Activision does, but I still love the game, I love the universe, so I'm just gonna just imagine it's not being handled by the company that's known as Activision, and just, uh, Hope that the game doesn't suck and that the game is not dead on arrival. Um, I at least want to play it. Like, after all these years, like, I want to at least play it just to say, like, okay, definitively, yeah, it's not in the best shape. So, I just want to try to get in. So, uh, periodically, you might see me checking in on my, like, phone or something. But, uh, anywho, uh, different game. Something that uh, you guys probably don't necessarily know about that I just love Overwatch. Uh... I transition away from it kind of to like focus on the games that were so if you guys were interested in so hopefully uh though overwatch 2 does do well and i promise you this is that at some point i am gonna find a way to make overwatch 2 a walkthrough because at the very least i want to play the story game mode absolutely zero down in my mind and i will 100 percent that absolutely i just have to figure out the timing because it's just the pve that's the beta uh not the pve uh the pvp is the only thing that's the beta so i gotta figure out how i want to do that uh but anywho uh gather three batteries from the buses at the main bus station for assault and batteries which uh it looks like there already is a ping which is good so we're gonna do that uh but before we do do that I just off of a, a hunch just want to try something i really do hope that this works like if it doesn't work it's not the biggest deal in the world i mean i'll inevitably buy the game anyways and get in at some point anyways i remember in overwatch one's beta eventually there was uh the ability to get in for free after a certain period of time okay it's actually loading and not immediately rejecting me god damn it it rejected me i was gonna say is that overwatch one's beta i i uh i got in late like because i just i didn't at the moment like need to do it so soon like Overwatch 1's beta, I actually did the last like few hours, like the last like I think hour that it was live. Because I, I wanted to eventually get around to because that was around the time I was still interested in COD and I was obsessed with like Black Ops 3 and uh then Pokemon Go. And I was like, you know what? I, I said I was gonna get around to it, I never did, so let me let me do it. And then I, I joined and I loved it. Um and I even got Overwatch 1 late. I was like, oh yeah, I really enjoyed the beta. Let me get this. And that was like after I was doing Pokemon and Black Ops 3, and then that's when I was addicted ever since. Yeah, I, I seem to not be able to get in for shit. I'm gonna try and one more time. I understand that this is taking away from the video, but uh 
I just want to try at least a few more times. See, if anything, I'll just do it when I'm at work, because luckily my job should be hopefully slow enough. Uh, plus, also, my, my boss is cool, and she lets me just stay on my phone. All the managers are, are cool and chill with me. Uh, but, god damn it, man. I really want to get in. I really want to make this work. Why is the camera view on my Twitch now suddenly, like, Nintendo Game Boy size? There we go. Now it's fixed. So, just stay like that. I'm, I'm gonna go back now, okay? I'm getting a little distracted, so anywho. Now, one thing I'm also hoping is that, uh, while uh, we're on the discussion of Overwatch, just because I've yet to, like, get to the area, don't worry when there's cutscenes playing, I won't, like, you know, talk about Overwatch. But, uh, some of the things I do genuinely want to have happen is I'm really hoping that Blizzard has some sort of cross-progression system. Because I want my stuff to carry over. I don't want to just be uh, stuck back on Overwatch 1. And I think they've already promised that, but it's, it's Activision, so we'll have to just wait and see. Uh, and I also would ideally love to have uh, not only cross-progression, but I would also like to have cross-platform progression. Uh, which basically means is I want to be able to carry my Xbox shit over to my PC. Because I've, I've kind of moved on from console gaming. Not to uh, the, the fullest degree. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on, I gotta take care of this dude. I, I, I have zero time to try to melee you. I'm just gonna shoot. Another one? For some reason, this game's looking really crispy today. Oh. Just die. Thank you. Hope you don't see me. It's to the right. There we go. But yeah, I would just love to have my uh, Xbox shit just carry over because, uh, like I said, I just kind of moved on from console gaming. Not entirely. If, if the game is only available on console, uh, and some games just also just do work better on console, you'd be surprised. Some games are more just do the way their nature is. Oh, that was a cool execute. That's like kind of rare. Um, do the way that some games are naturally. It's uh, hard to play them on certain platforms, and sometimes that happens to be the case for PC. Like, for example, uh, another Activision title I can think of, Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty games before Modern Warfare 2019 for the longest time were uh, console games. If you tried to play them on PC, they were basically like ports. Really, the only appeal for PC gaming, it was just if you had a PC and you wanted to play it on PC because that's where all your, you know, your buddies were or something. Or if you just want things like the mods or the, the graphics. So I'm just hoping that uh, that's the case because uh, things like Apex Legends, for example, I was now getting crossplay, but I already like moved on early because I didn't assume it was going to be there, or at least not like right away. I knew there was a possibility that it eventually would go over, but I was like, you know, I, I just want to move over to PC now. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that. And now they're talking about it, but you can't like bring over and merge your Xbox with your PC stuff. So once you merged over, you merged over. So I kind of like did a little too soon, but it's not a big deal. Um. But yeah, like, Fortnite luckily has always had cross-progression, that's not a big deal. I'm thinking, like, the main games I play are, like, games that are modern enough that, like, they get updates, and so I want to bring over the stuff, but I'm not sure if they fall under... It's weird, there's, like, games that will never be touched again, so I don't even have to worry about in the first place. Wherever it was, wherever it was. Then there's games that still get updated, but not adapted to their, like, cross-progression, so I'm stuck on the platform I started. Or there's the, uh, the games where, like, you have, like, it where there's cross-progression, or the possibility of cross progression, but it's like not there yet. And it's just like, cause they're, you know, regularly getting updated and uh, my tastes have changed. I want to move on to like, you know, better things like a PC. And there's just some games that are kind of like, I guess like a fourth bonus one like I was talking about where it's like definitely better on a console or like just a platform that you wouldn't expect. Um, so, so three batteries from buses. I have to probably go right next to this guy. Batteries from a bus. Gather three batteries from buses at the main bus station. Are they in the bus? Like, I'm thinking now, and I'm trying to imagine where these go. Oh, th th oh, this one's got a lock. That makes sense. 
Plus also the power is on, so it wouldn't surprise me if it was, if it was this one. Ah. Apparently he's on fire now. Dude, I swear to God, Noam Chomsky is only just for the memes at this point. Wait, hold on. I'm completely stuck in this bus. Frying pan, activate! Boink! You picked up a car battery. So it's in the front, usually. It's in the front, like, center console. I think Tim gave me some, uh... Band-Aids last time, so I'm gonna... Try to use these sparingly. Uh... Okay, never mind. Sometimes the car batteries are just openly available. Uh, well, there's only like so many uh, cars left. I'm gonna think. I got the. I don't think I got this one. No, I did. Okay. So blue bus. What about the red bus? Can I open the red bus? Yeah, the red bus has a lock. I will never miss these virals when I play Dying Light 2. In fact, actually, probably one of the things I'm going to have to do is that now that I think about it, is that if I want to play Overwatch 2's PvE, I'm going to have to time whatever walkthrough game I'm playing uh, around the time that it launches. Oh! Ooh, that was brutal! I didn't know the frying pan was that capable of an execute. Jesus Christ. Serving up a plate of whoop-ass. Hello, Jake. Good afternoon. Give me some cheese or you must suck me off on Microsoft Teams. How about no? <laughs> but what's up, G? Okay, let's, let's just try to kill the viral because he's the main concern. Fuck you. Get off of me. I missed? Crane, you charged that up for the longest time. How the fuck did you miss? <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Okay, go back to the red bus. Uh, Jake, you want to do me a favor and take care of the bot? There's a bot in the chat. I would appreciate it. Car battery? Thank you. Thank you, son. Okay, now we also gotta get back to uh, the checkpoint before it gets too dark. Thank you, Jake. So I'm trying to think, it depending on if Overwatch's beta is coming out at the oh shit. Oh that grappling hook just saved my ass. Ironically, you fling yourself more quicker to the ground with a grappling hook, the fall damage just cancels. Um But no yeah, like legitimately, if the Overwatch beta uh is gonna be coming out at the very end of April, a beta will typically be released like six months at the very latest before a game usually it's by like a couple months by like two or like three or something but no way activision wouldn't surprise me if it was like six or something so i'm hy hypothetically thinking if the original release date for overwatch one was may it could come out around june like may or june the I i've seen call of duty and it wouldn't surprise me if activision did the same thing for overwatch because it's run by the same publisher it wouldn't surprise me if Call of Duty uh, had the beta like a month before and released it in May again, like it, like it, uh, it like uh, Overwatch One was.
Uh, there we go. Cool. Hello, you two. Show your batteries. Better check them for bite marks. <laughs> well done. Well, no problems with the counting part of the mission. How much more do you need to do on this project of yours? Oh yeah, J Jake. I'll tell you in a minute. I had no idea you loved Overwatch this as much as I did. Yeah. So Jake, uh, you should be trying to do this yourself too. Uh, Overwatch 2's beta got announced. Uh, I, that's like basically what I'm referring to, like the last like 20 minutes on the stream. Um, if you want to, you should sign up at, or you should try to sign up and uh, let me know if you can get through because it probably would be the same for me. Uh, Overwatch 2 beta is available the end of April, and the signups are available now. They were, went live at like noon Eastern, so like your 5 p.m. Uh, if you go to their Twitter, you can try to go to the link for Blizzard's website, try to sign up, although they've been having crashing issues and you might not be able to get in. Uh, that's what I've been trying to do the last little bit. But yeah, Overwatch is my favorite game series. And uh, if, I, if Activision does a pattern, because uh, they're really good at patterns, minus the exceptions of like what's been going on recently, they should be on track to, my guess, is that the very earliest we could see it the next month in May. Because Overwatch 1 released in May. In fact, I'm trying to remember when the Overwatch 1 beta was. Overwatch 1's beta, I think, was around the same time. Yeah, April. Like March, April-ish. So, oh shit, that means they can release any moment now. <laughs> but then again, though, they've had an undefined release date for a while, so I can't imagine they would only announce the release date, though. Two months from launch. They might need a little bit more time, yeah. It, it could release as early as one month, though. It could release in May. That's if everything goes lucky, although they've had no uh, ads or, or hype going. It, this this was spontaneous, so it wouldn't surprise me if they would need more time. So I can imagine that they could do it anywhere from one month to six months. Either way, though, I absolutely am hyped because Overwatch, like I said, is my favorite game series of all time. And I haven't played a multiplayer shooter in, like, two years. Uh, just because, like, even something like my favorite, like, Overwatch, it just became basically unplayable. Uh, I'll admit, uh, the game was not perfect, but, uh, as much as the bullshit was there, I stuck through to the very end. I played up until they updated the very last giant patch where they actually changed the game like with adding the last hero echo um i haven't played to for the reskins of like uh characters for the special like uh ha halloween or christmas updates because they're never different enough i mean you can only play junkenstein's revenge like so many years in a row because it's literally been the exact same for the last six or seven years uh all they do is just occasionally add in one new game mode even then it's not really that significant of a difference and then they just add character skins um, and meta changes aren't enough. Uh, I, I enjoyed when the game was, like, uh, getting more content. Uh, but so, yeah, I'm just hoping that Overwatch 2 will be good. I, I really hope it's good, because I swear to God, if it sucks, I'm going to be heartbroken. Because <laughs> that Overwatch 2 is the only shooter I can imagine that would make me go back to uh, FPS games. Because other than that, the, basically the only other one I've been actively playing occasionally, even in the last like couple years, is just Apex. So. Does this actually have a definitive location? Searched an area marked for uh, all this crap. Uh, map. This is not a definitive area shit. Midnight Bride? Does Midnight Bride have something? Collect a Midnight Bride herbs by night. Does this have a definitive area? Yes, it does. Okay. By night? Oh, so it's already convenient that's already nighttime. Why is it not letting me log in? It's it's having maintenance. Like I said, people are spamming so hard it's like crashing. It's like when the PS5 and the Xbox Series X launched. Oh, you got in! Oh, motherfucker! Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, do it with you. Hold on. Hold on, Jake. If you're getting in, I'm gonna do the same too. Hold, hold the fucking phone. Oh shit! Grappling hook. Let me up. I really hope it's not just you. I, Jake, I want to go in with you. Let me in. Let me in. You had to use the app. Yeah, I was gonna say, sometimes they fucking tease you, they give you a dick tease, and they were like, Oh, logging you in, no problem, and then they give up. Oh, fucking please. Fuck! God damn it!
This is a dying live stream, and yet we just keep talking about Overwatch. That, that's the thing, though, is about the nature of the live streams, that any live stream re-upload is never going to be exactly like my YouTube videos are. God damn it. I'll, I'll have to just check in shit like that while I'm at work. Yeah, I was logged in, too. I'm still stuck in my account. By the way, the fact that you say you're a Reaper main, automatically, I think that it like means that we're one of the same, Jake, because... uh. Reaper is my favorite character too, and uh, he's the very reason that I was able to get top 500 three times throughout this uh, this thing of Overwatch. Like throughout the whole entire time of playing Overwatch, uh, I loved every character. I played every character, and even the ones I didn't like, I at least tried. The Reaper was my favorite. I used him to get top 500 three different times. Reaper's the absolute fucking best, and it was cool because right around the time that I was playing. Uh, uh, game modes like uh, competitive free for all and team deathmatch. Uh, Reaper got a buff. I don't know where I don't know where Reaper stands now with any given meta or anything, but uh, uh, Reaper was definitely my favorite before he even got buffed. I remember the soul collecting Reaper that wasn't even that good, but I still loved him. And uh, then he got buffed where he, you know he can like uh, shoot people that like get uh, health back. Like, be a self-sustainer. And shit like that. And, uh... Dude, I just love him. He's just such a great character. Great character storyline-wise and meta. Herbs, herbs, herbs. Yeah, die, die, die! I don't believe he got nerfed. I mean, I haven't played the game in a while. I wouldn't know. Like I said, I played all the way up and that's is that it? Midnight Bride. I gotta find five of them though. That's there's a difference. Another one. Probably all like right here. They're purple, so it's easy to find. Um, but yeah, man, I played all the way up until they added Echo and then a little bit after, but that was it. I never uh played after uh Echo. The last very last time I played was October of 2020. Uh, because one of my last goals was to get uh, a silver portrait within the game just to sh show playtime. I had so many goals in that game to try to keep myself busy. Um, I got top 500 three times. That was I at least wanted to get it once just to prove how good I was at the game. That was the game that, that I was the most sweatiest you will ever see me in my entire life. I wanted that so bad. Uh, I got a silver portrait, which is basically like level 500 to show playtime. I played competitive a shit ton. Most amount of competitive you will ever see me play in my entire life. Although I will say, as much as I love that game, that game fucking pissed me off. Like, even to the very bitter end, it pissed me off. If I went back again, you probably would see me get fucking pissed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's been very therapeutic playing PvE games. But dude, I was not a happy bunny when I used to play PvP. <laughs> if, if I had a douchebag that was throwing... Or somebody that was deliberately trying to reverse uh, boost or something, like try to like tank their stats. It was it, like there was times where Overwatch was so toxic, even worse than COD, debatably. Which is which is rare. Um, but yeah, like the reverse boosting shit like that, uh, and people basically making pornography on the game and like making the. I, I had a rant about this on Twitter at one point. Um, Basically, I hated how that Overwatch just just became a game for Rule 34 and trolling. That's basically what people devolved it into. And uh, I knew it was more than that, but I couldn't make other people think that. I could only influence. So after a while, it just it just got the uh, the better of me, and I just got frustrated. I just did what I wanted to do, but the moment I was done with what I wanted to do, I just decided to move on to another game because it was just not healthy just to. Uh, Basically, see people pick Widowmaker and throw, and then make porn of it later. I'm getting my ass cle uh, sheiks clapped like Widowmaker in real life and on my Pornhub. I actually appreciate the game because, like, there's people like Jeff, like Jeff Kaplan before he left. The war is just like, dude, like, I swear to God, Jeff Kaplan was a saint. He was, like, the only thing that made Overwatch, like, worth playing sometimes is positivity, bro. Fuck. Although I understand why people like Jeff and all that stuff left because like we know what happened with the fallout with Activision. So I'm hoping that uh, Activision will 
finally see the error of their ways, or at least Microsoft can fix it, so that way Overwatch 2 is good. In fact, I wonder if Activision is the only reason why they're getting their shit together for Overwatch 2 is because of Microsoft. Anyway, but yeah, like, I, I could talk about the good, the bad, the ugly of Overwatch all day. Um, but to look on the positive side, it's just like, I'm hoping that everything I just listed, and even things I've talked about before, just never happen again, or at least not on the scale they once did. I want the game to be a fun, competitive, but equally casual, and probably what's gonna happen is that the casual is probably gonna be the PvE. I'm hoping that the story is good, because the, the game, honestly, if the, if the story is great, I don't care if the PvE fucking sucks, because I, I love the story enough from the multiplayer game itself that it was, to want to keep playing it. I promise you a walkthrough game for that that game will happen, and I will 100% it easily. Stop saying my dick size, Microsoft. I was like a Lucio football and then sold my PS4. Well, there's also cross-play now, so I'm more than happy to play with you guys if you want to see Overwatch at, at some point. Like, I mean, I mean, shit, man, uh, I, I've got, uh, like, you'll get a kick out of this, Jake. I mean, literally mounted on my wall, you probably have never realized this, but I got, like, Overwatch weapons. I've got Genji's sword here mounted on my wall. You know, the Yuji Nikola Kure! Or whatever the hell he says. Uh, and I've got Tracer McCree's pistols. So... And I've got a shit ton of Funkos, and I got a whole bunch of different articles of clothing. I got an Overwatch ring at some point, shirts. Uh, I mean, I mean, hell, there's even more. Check your DMs. Um, McCree. Yes, one of my old mains. And, I, and I'm trying to also remember some of the other things. I got six golden guns at one point. Check your DMs. Thank you, Jake. I appreciate that. Now I'm hoping that I didn't miss my opportunity. <clears throat> Please work. Jake, are you trying... You're trying a, a website. You're not trying the uh, the app. I see where you're going with this, though. No, yeah, but I also got six golden weapons. I got uh, a couple of DLC and a couple of normal heroes. And I got two of each. I got two healers, two tanks, two uh, DPS. I got Mercy, Brigida, Sigma, Roadhog, Reaper, and Soldier 76 for gold guns. For the love of God, please work. It's, it's at least thinking about it. God damn it. No, yeah, I, I, rem I, re I remember people used to call Sigma Ligma. See, whenever I think of Sigma, I, I used to think of the Overwatch character. Now I think of this weird substitute fucking like alternative alpha male shit. People, people, like, don't understand this, but, like, the Sigma male thing just, it's just such a bizarre take. Like, people are entitled to believe what they want to believe, but, like, I swear to God, like, the Sigma male thing is, I feel like, just, like, a thing to make people feel better about themselves. Like, I might get a lot of, like, hate for this. Uh, like, I'm, like, like I said, I'm completely open-minded. If you genuinely want to believe in the thing you do, by all means. But I will just say this is that I look at it as silly. I think it's just a thing that people fabricated to make themselves feel better about not being considered alpha to the world. The beta of the alpha thing is not even like a thing that's really even relevant anymore. It's just a way to label each other. I mean, technically that shit's been retired for a while. It's just it's just that dudes like to compete with each other and dominate each other. But I mean, like legitimately, like if you want to believe that you're an alpha male or like you want to believe that you're a beta male, that's just shit that you believe in your head and then that, that manifests in your real life. If you don't have confidence in yourself and you have, like, no self-worth, that's when you get that beta idea. If you have confidence and you believe in yourself and you try to succeed at what you do, you, you get that alpha male mentality. But th that's the... I feel like people use it as a toxic way. Like, there's a different... I, I understand the idea of tos toxic 
uh, people say masculinity, but I really just think it's just toxicity in general. It doesn't have to be necessarily a masculine thing. But, like, if you put yourself above others, then you're toxic. If you put yourself up on a pedestal, but you also try to put others on a pedestal, that's more just being confident. Basically, it's like, I can do this and you can do it too, versus I can do this but you can't. That's the difference between alpha and beta, because people also don't realize that toxic alphas are really beta still. If you believe that you can do something, but you're willing to help others, that's the stereotypical alpha thing. It's like, I'm the I'm the leader, but I'm gonna make you into other leaders. Versus the the toxic alpha thing that people think that they are, where it's really just betas that just that are just thinking they're alphas. That's just people being like, I can do this and you can't. And then beta, beta that a lot of people think, but they're one of the same really, is that I can't do this and I don't want you to either. And I'm gonna take you down to my level. You know what I mean. So it's you again. Look, you can tell Rise that he can bite me. Hey, what's that? Have you brought the herbs? Oh, that's what I'm talking Yeah, you're thinking of the Giga Chad thing. Scavenging from now on. Well, I still can't figure you out. But here's your prize. I think you deserved it. I just... It, I just think that the, the Sigma male thing is silly. Report to Toggle and uh, Fanon. Fanton. Which, which quest is it on, though? Hardwire? Or hardware, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna head there then. Uh, Jake, but if you could please do me a favor, homie, and just keep me up to date on whether or not the beta has openings, then please do. Good to see you again, Mr. Uh, what's his name? Crane, like the mindless machine that lifts heavy things. Just tell me what you need and I'll be on my way. Why do these guys treat me like I'm some sort of, like, two-year-old? We need ten rolls of duct tape. No, we need ten power cables. Duct tape. Cables. Duct tape. Cables, duct tape. Look, I get it. You need both. Precisely. Precisely. And that concludes talking to you. Get going. I, I think basically what it is, man, is that... Oh, I already have what I need to give them. <laughs> is that moss growing on you? Stop moving! Time passes, but he does not move. Didn't I just give you what you needed? Surprised that didn't work. I, I was like, I was even surprised I had it in my inventory. Uh, I guess I need more. Um, but no, yeah, like, man, like, I, I think regardless of whether or not that you're a guy or a woman or whatever, is I think that really what it is is that toxic alpha, you know, mentality thinking is just being just, you know, a bully. Like, for example, a person that is, like, fat and ugly and bitchy and thinks the world's out to, you know, like, get them, you know, like, that's the same type of toxicity as somebody that's pompous and arrogant and, and you know even though despite their success they're they're addicted to people that that's that's still toxic you know like that that's that's completely different i mean hell like really what it is that if you want to be successful in life just enjoy what you do and have confidence in it and and then also at the same time be nice to people and believe that other people can achieve whatever they want just like you you believe you can it's a one and the same thing It's, 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 uh, it's, see, the, a lot of people don't realize that it's hard to be nice sometimes. Because, you know, it's very easy to be toxic. It's very easy to be a dick and be entitled. So, when someone's nice to you, man, like, you, you should be very happy because that person took the time out of their day to know that sometimes it's hard to be nice to the people that are talking shit to you. Like, for example, when I see a retail worker, uh, especially because I am one, you know, with my, my with my job type, but to, you know, to be nice to somebody or at least neutral to somebody and not want to cuss them out when they're basically shit talking you to your face, uh, that takes a lot of balls and that shows that you're, you know, you're not gonna let someone, you know, take you down because of their, you know, bullshit. Are we all perfect? No, uh, you know, that's fine. But I'm just saying is that if most of the time, if like you're angry or something, you can just like let it go and move on. That, that That's the best time. Like the best revenge is living a happy life. So when someone is basically like m manifesting their bullshit and like trying to reflect it upon you, someone's misery is not linked to your self-worth. You're, you're not someone else's misery and you're not the fault of someone else being miserable. I tell you guys this stuff is because I used to think the opposite of this, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not perfect. 
Uh, but a long time ago, I did used to think that the world, like, was in such a way that I had to, like, you know, make other people act a certain way for me to be happy, and that's just bullshit. Why, why would you, why would you make your happiness dependent on others? I would rather just be happy all the time, because it's my choice. Where the hell is the goddamn, uh, jumper cables or whatever it is? Instead of your opinion. Ah, uh, since when was this Sigma kid in Overwatch? Who's this Echo kid? Have you not played the game in a while? Those are like the, one of the couple of the last few characters that were added. Oh, that was badass. God damn it. See, I'm only having to heal because I'm in a fight. That that oh that hurt him. That at least interrupted his uh his swing. Uh-oh. This mythic sword is doing so much damage to this guy. Ow, how the fuck did he flee me closer to him? Come on, you little bitch. Is it upstairs? Or is it in the bush, maybe? Find power cables. I found two. I, I think. Are they in the, the the truck? Just die, you piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Get up. Oh, the big guy's finally dead. Good. Not gonna lie, it is kind of funny just to comedically beat the shit out of a zombie with a frying pan. Why did the zombie fling me so far? He's not even a boss. Excuse me? I saw a search. Dude, sit the fuck down. They're dead? Thank you. Found cash. It's probably, a, this is probably a good time to use my survivor sense. Power cable. Power cable. Power cable. Uh, turn in the five power cables. Unless I need some duct tape.
Do I still need five more? No, I got the five power cables. Go to the underground parking the slot. That's the bounty. Turn in just five power cables, so I gotta just go back. Right? Is there still... Okay, now the ping is gone. Good. The twins still need some materials, so... Is it not going to update? Oh, now I gotta go to the other area. Okay, I was gonna say update, please. Why did my uh, laptop uh, go off? Oh, my laptop went off because I was on the Overwatch uh, link, not the um, the Twitch. It's gonna work. God damn it. Yeah, I figured that the website was bugged. I'm I'm just gonna try it. Work. It's uh something that like it's just not worth stressing about. Jake, if you want to do me a favor, uh, yeah, I can understand why Fortnite would be a no for you. I understand that a lot of people haven't played Fortnite in a while. Um, but yeah, man, like if you want to periodically uh mention if the website's working, uh, that's when I'll try to sign up. Other than that, I uh, I won't try. That takes away from the live stream. But it's fine that we just chilled for a little bit here. Ten rolls of duct tape, ten cables. You've done well, Simeon. You are performing far beyond your capabilities. Of course, they say to improve your game, you should play with someone better than yourself. Clearly, contact with Tolga and I has significantly increased your intelligence. So, you are welcome. <sighs> One more task and we will be done. What do you need? There is a military base on the other side of the Collapse Bridge. You will zip line across to it. Using the borrowed intelligence we have imbued you with, you will find a military-grade mobile sonar unit. Bring it to us. Bring it to us. Mr. Dahl will want to see you as well, so please, use some deodorant and try not to drool on yourself so much. All right, get going. Watching you is painful. Is that moss growing on you again? Stop moving. Maybe he'll move if we look away. General relativity states that all things are in motion, but somehow you are not. Legitimately, if, if I wasn't such a nice guy, I would just shoot these guys for being so belligerent. <laughs> like, like, these guys are so, like, snobby. It's, like, ridiculous. Your old PS4 account, you rolled level 72. I'm trying to think of all my stats. I got top 500 three times I said that. I got, uh, like, over, like, level 500 because I did a silver portrait. I said that. I got six golden guns. I basically play a little bit of everybody. Oh, dude, my stats are ridiculous. If I showed my stats of, like, how much I played or how much of all the shit I did, it was ridiculous. I had so many kill streaks where I, like, feeded and, like, legitimately got so many epic plays with feeds and quad feeds and penta feeds and team wipes and all that shit. I had so many highlights. Like, a lot of it exists mostly in the form of YouTube videos now. Because, uh, every, uh, thing I did for the last four years on that game is all on my YouTube channel.
But with the audience I have, even if it's the Twitch audience and not the YouTube audience, I'm hoping people will like to see it. It would make me so happy if people wanted to see it, because I can, I can imagine myself being not only good at it, but wanting to do it. Come on, go, go. In fact, I just realized if I have a grappling hook, I'll never need to do the parkour again. I don't even need to parkour up that or grappling hook up that. I literally would just grappling hook the opposite half of the bridge. <laughs> That's literally all I would do. Unless it, okay, unless it just doesn't let you. I'll be back here. I was like 8 and 11. Hello, wait. No, I started playing when it was like came out in 2016. Uh, I played the beta the very last day, like in the last couple hours, because I wanted to get around to it, and I did. Despite playing other games, I, I made time for it eventually. And then I got the game a little bit late in September when the game came out in May, because I was wrapping up, like I said, things like Black Ops 3 and Pokemon Go. Um, because if I would have postponed, I never would have done the goals I would have had in those games. I don't exactly regret it or anything. It was fine. I, I, I got into it late, but I still did everything I basically wanted to do. Um, so if the game came out in May and I played in September, I waited basically like one, two, three, four, like five months. So like basically like for the first six months. But I really didn't miss out. Um, personally, I don't think so. Uh, if I would have gotten the game any later, though, like, basically around the time that Doomfist came out, that was kind of the beginning of the end. And, uh, basically after the first, like, two years, people, uh, essentially gave up on the game. I, I would say, like, after, uh, the second year, uh, people got sick of it, because that's when the beta, not the beta, uh, the, uh, the game in, in general as a whole, uh, the meta was just getting just toxic, and, uh, the game was not getting updates, because that was probably when the beginning of the, uh, Behind the scenes, Activision lawsuits and shit like that like, was really getting bad. Uh oh. Fuck, I went too high. Um. Jeff left eventually. Um, and plus also like the game was not fun anymore because like I said, people just threw and made porn jokes. Oh, luckily it teleported me up here. Nice. Um. I feel like only a select handful of people actually took the game seriously after a while. And, uh... Hell, even Overwatch is not even relevant on YouTube, unfortunately, anymore. Like, you look up any modern Overwatch content creators, they're either, like, not making content anymore. Which I don't blame them, because there's nothing to make content on. Or they just make videos about either Overwatch 2 or how the current state of Overwatch is bad. That's it. And it's just like, it's like, oh my god, it's like... Of all games I could have possibly been known for on Twitch and YouTube, thank God it was Left 4 Dead, because Left 4 Dead almost, I feel like, is safe, where it's like the updates are in such a way that, like, the game, I can't imagine, would ever get in a state of being bad. So, just thank Christ. Because the problem is when you risk... You risk your game being terrible trying to, to innovate it. And Left 4 Dead is in that weird situation where it's like the content that is added is community based. So you can pick and choose what you want. And it's just like, thank God that Left 4 Dead is not just trash. That's why I also try to be known for multiple games or just my personality. So when the game eventually does get boring or, you know, fades. I, I can switch. Come on. Oh, sh sweet. I took a shortcut. Nice. Good. Now the problem is I can't open that door. Fuck! Oh fuck, good.
You gotta be very careful not to over or under shoot that. So find what I need here on the bridge. Now, the way I want to do this is I'm just going to ignore them. And uh, probably what I'm just going to do is I'm going to just throw firecrackers. Here, uh... Select. Firecrackers. Just, yeah, just ignore me and go for those. Acquire the sonar. I'm just glad I'm here in general, just because this is just Medkit Heaven again, and I there it is. Because I haven't been to the uh, the Medkit Heaven location in a while, and I kept saying I need to come back here again to uh, um get medkits I missed out on. So I've only been up here once since I played the game, and uh, I haven't grinded this like I could or should. Hopefully he doesn't see me. I know he just saw me put on the guts, but okay, good. There's a man right inside of me. What the hell? Go away. <laughs> Can I get more guts while I have guts? Luckily I can also kill while they're walking around and uh, it doesn't get rid of my camo. Yes, I said that on purpose for an out of context just for your pleasure. See, rule of thumb on the internet is that if the internet's gonna take you out of context, might as well beat them to the punch. See, I just joke about everything just because if I joke about everything, there's nothing left for people to do other than just tag along with me just for fun. I mean, think about it. I mean, like... Typically, whenever you get bullying advice, like, people are like, Oh, yeah, just make fun of yourself so that way other people can't make fun of you. It's kind of the truth. Uh-oh, shit. Fuck, that blew up right on me. Get the guts, please. I need to utilize survivor sense and uh, the gut scooping camo thing more. I'm really glad that this also is just an excuse for me to go to Medkit Heaven again. Because I don't think if uh, I had this side quest, I would have come back here, to be honest. Like, one of the things I also want to do just while I'm here is just, uh... Try to, try to use the vans. Uh... 
Oh, I was getting close. Fuck. Shit, he's on fire. Ah, zombies on fire! Dude, just sit the fuck down. Go over there. Ha! Got rifle ammo. Throw another firework so they just get further away from me. Yeah, the very hard lock picks, they, they notice your little micro adjustments. Jake, how's the uh, the beta signups coming along, by the way? Wait. Ha. Oh, there we go. Another purple assault rifle. Don't mind if I fucking do. Police baton, dismantle. I'm just getting rid of all the shit that I don't need, so. Is there a zombie I can get from over here? Uh, cause. There's more zombies over there where if I kill them, it'll be noticeable. So I'm just trying to, uh, wall over here, get some guts so I can open that last van. Yeah, this sword is great. This angel blade, I love it. I'm so glad I upgraded this mythic into a uh, an angel blade. Now I need to make sure that this doesn't break by the time I go to rise because I want this to carry over to there. Can I even scoop the guts out of this type of zombie? Yeah, I can. It seems to have fixed itself. Like, were you able to get in? Were you able to sign up? Because that's what I'm mostly wondering. Here, let me try. Actually, I'm going to try it on the laptop because I don't want to mess it up on my phone. Let me, let me see. If you're right, I want to get in here. So. Ah. Uh, shit. Still not working. Damn it. We'll, we'll get there eventually.
Okay. The last few vans. Well, I know it's close to the right. Oh. Ha. A little tiny adjustments, it makes all the difference. So really what I'm just getting, chat, is I'm just getting rifle ammo. Oh, there's also these other vans. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to throw a firework there. I thought I had the grappling hook. Shit, I gotta throw another one over there. Go back there instead, please. What, can I make them prioritize the other firework? Yeah, it's closer, so they go for that one. See, I'm hoping that the fence to my right keeps me safe. Fuck, it's like right there in the like upper left. Oh, come on. Got it. Pit fighter weapon upgrade? I don't know why, but I feel like that sword could be also really good. Well, that was a medkit heaven run. So now the thing to do is just to go back to where I need to go, which is, uh... That's Rise. I need to do another, uh... Quest, in general. Now, these are the binoculars mission, which I don't think has a ping. Yeah, it doesn't, so... But this mission... I'm looking for anything that has a ping, because <laughs> I don't want to just scavenge. No. Poisonous herbs? I feel like some of these are just about just, like, looking, because, like, if I, if I have to, of course, I'll use my phone and just track it. But I, I'm trying not to get in the, the habit of doing that. Back to the grappling hook. Can I grappling hook back? No, I can't. You just can't grappling hook. It's to prevent you from being cheesy. Watch 2 was announced in 2019. The gameplay trailer was uploaded in 2019. The trailer looks like as if it was just reusing assets from characters in the story. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, it was 2019, and uh, it's now 2022. It's uh, been like three years since it was announced. But uh, hey, they finally got around to it. I mean, good. Um, no, but yeah, but basically the only difference, man, between this game and Overwatch uh, 1 is that the PvP is 5v5 and not 6v6. And the story mode is uh, attached to the disc, which means that that's why they're charging. Uh, there's a, they said that the gameplay will not be different from Overwatch 1. They'll still update Overwatch 1 with Overwatch 2. But then again, though, I'm not really sure if that's going to be entirely the case because why would they update Overwatch 1 alongside Overwatch 2? It's, it's, it, knowing Activision, even under Microsoft, if they're, if they're really going to do that, great. But I, I can imagine them, like, giving Overwatch 1 kind of like a dumbed-down version of whatever Overwatch 2 gets. Like, if they do things like add the heroes, great. If they do things like add in the meta changes, uh, that's going to be a little bit different story because, like, they'll have to accommodate for separate metas with 5v5 for Overwatch 2 compared to 6v6 for Overwatch 1. Some things will be literally impossible to port over. <laughs> so it makes me think that after a while, they'll phase Overwatch 1 out anyway. <laughs> I mean, Overwatch 1, for the longest time, kind of got forgotten while they are trying to develop Overwatch 2, so it wouldn't surprise me if, like, you know, they maybe do an update here or there, and then just, like, just go full Overwatch 2. 
Well, I mean, we know they can add an Overwatch 1 DLC for the story. I mean, look at the, the PvE events. The PvE events were great for Overwatch 1, seriously. You combined that and made them all available, maybe add a little bit of extra stuff, you had a full-on Overwatch campaign. And they just didn't do it. See, like, even being rusty at the game, I would still bet you that I could kick some ass. I played that game for so long, so hard, that it would not take me that long to get back in the swing of things. So I played so much so often that all I would have to do is just figure out what the meta is and then just copy it. Or, or get good with what I, like, enjoy. And I guarantee you I would be on fire. Literally, like, according to the game, because we remember the, the on-fire system. I don't know why this is a random box. You know, maybe one of the things I can do uh, before Overwatch 2's beta consumes my life is that I'm going to have to look up the shit that is in this game that I can do without needing to... Um, Without needing to uh, take up a lot of time. I still need to see if that shotgun was the, the, the double barrel that I passed up on. Because people say I passed up on a shotgun at one point. Um, I just need to figure out also how to get a non-double barrel. Like just a pump shotgun. Because I know that exists in the game somewhere. I just, need to, I, I, I just need to technically look at what I can get in this game. Uh, as quick as I can for the easiest amount of effort. Yeah, basically it's like Overwatch 1.5. It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so go to the slabs. The slabs. To the slabs? Somewhere within here, the slabs. Return the slab or suffer my curse. If you remember, Courage the Cowardly Dog by any chance, guys. Not gonna lie, that was the original uh, horror genre for children. Not Goosebump, but Courage the Cowardly Dog. I swear to God, I still occasionally get nightmares from that shit. I swear. I have not forgotten every monster or whatever that was in that game. Fictional or human. It would have not surprised me that's on the roof. Is the slab in a box? See, zombies respawned up there, which wouldn't surprise me if it was up there that I need to get the, uh, the slabs. Box? No. See, I got assault rifle ammo, and, uh, that's really good because I was looking to get some new assault rifle ammo. And they're also just up here. So... I don't have to worry about a viral climbing up to get me, exactly. Should I get Overwatch 1 on PC, or is it like a, a dead game, or just don't want to get the game to play? Um... See, I own Overwatch 1 on PC because one of the things that console just did not have that made PC technically a definitive uh, version of Overwatch was the PTR or the public test region where basically you tested patches before they went live to the actual game. Uh, I got that as actually a gift for my one coworker, And... I have not played the game online in the last two years, so I don't know what the player count is on the PC. It probably would actually spike back up with the announcement of the beta. It wouldn't surprise me if it went up. Um, but other than a potential spike, I don't know. Like, here, let me look it up. 
Overwatch uh, player count. It wouldn't surprise me if it was not that high. Which is live player count? It's estimated concurrent, uh, concurrent, uh, concurrent player seventy two thousand eight hundred and forty one. So it's not even at a hundred thousand. It's not that high. I figured it couldn't even remotely be that high. But that's still pretty decent for a game that's been alive. It's 2016, so it's been at least six years, and it's only multiplayer. So that's just people playing only the multiplayer, which is good because it means that you're probably going to find some sort of match. Is this on consoles? Is this on PC? I don't know. This is probably just all together. Um, I'll actually figure out if there's a way I can maybe see if I can just try to like start getting into Overwatch again. Not like... The way, the way I used to. I'm probably going to invest everything into Overwatch 2. I, I think Overwatch 1 is basically done. Uh, maybe then just going back for old time's sake. I mean, I went back online for old time's sake on my Xbox account. That's just where all my shit was. Uh, just to load up the game and hear the music and be immersed. Um, uh, This is probably where I'm looking for. Oh, I don't know if I would sink as much uh, competitive time in as I was before. Or... um multiplayer time or whatever have you but we'll, we'll wait we'll see if i really want to do it enough i'll do it enough so find the slab go to the slabs Yeah, we probably can't trust all these websites. It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, to be honest, 72,000 for a multiplayer-only game six years after uh, it was released. It would not surprise me if that's the accurate number. I'm also just going to look up where the slabs are. Uh, dying Light... One, go to the slabs. Is the slab set in one location? Where does he find his? Does he just walk? Oh, he just walks near an area? Just down here? Yep. That's Kareem on the radio. I got the uh, the dialogue trigger. I figured it was near the boss. Plus, also, I, I could. I, he says that his was near the the dead bodies. Like that's where he was. So it wouldn't surprise me if I flip them over and I find a walkie. Okay. Shit, there, there's too many of them still. Okay, I kill the zombie. If I can just get them away from it so I can scoop the guts out, that'd be great.
Oh shoot, just come here viral. Not all the virals! Jesus, man, I almost only wanted one. I, I, th I think if I actually aim for their heads, it will legitimately give me a headshot. That one I just cut in half, great. Shit, stop. See, the, this is the annoying thing about this game, is the virals are so annoying and so persistent, they take too long to kill, that by the time I kill any zombie that I want to get uh, guts from, the other zombies are already on top of me and see me doing it, so I can't hide. Die. Quicker. Don't see me, please. There's the walkie. Oh, these are Ryza's guys, and uh, I picked up his radio and I'm pretending to be him. That's what's going on. Fuck, I threw a firework. <laughs> Whatever. Here. It says Fortnite has less than 1 million players on right now. Well, player counts are tricky because are they accounting for crossplay? Are they accounting for just one platform? Are they accounting for uh, stats within a certain time period? Are they actually active like right now? Are these accounts playing or are they just logged in? Like, what is the statistics that they're reading? Because all of those are in factors are in play. Because I can tell you this is that active players are... Oh shit, that's like a trap. I can tell you this is that an active player sure is someone that gets on at any point. But it's not really fair to assume that someone that just logs in for a daily challenge or to collect a, a weekly uh, loot drop is, is an active player. <laughs> they technically are, but like how many people are actually on the, on the game trying to do as much as they can? Trying to do good, etc. You know what I mean? Get inside. Hey, Greddy, how's it going, man? Sorry I wasn't here for the first half of the stream. It's all good. It's all good, homie. How are you doing today? Go to the entrance of the underground of the parking slums or find Kareem. Am I going to kill Kareem? It'd be kind of cool if I could get one of Ryze's men. You know, Kareem was not really exactly a good guy, so. It's funny how that in this game, you find a chocolate bar, you automatically eat it, like no questions asked. Yo, Kareem. Oh, there's Ryze's guys. Sup, bitch? Yeah, I got a mythic sword now with your name on it, so. Bitch. Try throwing a throwing knife at me again. Try, try it again. You get your ass decapitated. Yo, Kareem! Where you at, shithead? Oh, get executed, bitch! Oh, never mind, they, uh... Whoops. Uh, you didn't see that, chat. <laughs> I just got a little bit carried away. 
Uh, I started here, so I gotta keep going. Hold on. Uh, wrong way upstairs. Da, 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 da. Back here. Hi, I'm back for a rematch. Like, actually, can I just upgrade Crane really quick? Yeah, why not? Let's give him even more power than he already does. Free run expert. Become the expert free runner. Run longer, uh, climb quickly, and yeah, all that, all that shit. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to have my stamina increased. And then just power in general. Become an expert fighter. Yes, please. That'd be really great right about now. Oh, I split him in half as a human. That's more gruesome than if he was a zombie. Search the upper floors for him. Can I just zip line up or something? I don't think I can cut up through here. Upstairs anymore. But, uh, yeah, Greddy, how's your day going, G? Let me know how you are. Oh, it's probably the elevator I gotta take, right? Right. Figured. Yo, hydrate? I got you. I'm just going through the elevator shaft? Yeah. Dude, jump through the- Jump through the damn shaft! Dream. Dead bodies. Yo, Kareem! Where are ya? Are you want me to hydrate again? Oh, you wanna drown me, I see. Chat, make sure if you want to see me drown, make sure you drop a follow. <laughs> He's probably just like in one of the rooms that Kareem, it's Crane. that drop figured. Your weapon or you're dead. What the hell's your problem? This doesn't concern you. Sorry, Kareem, but Errol Asani is my concern. You're working for him? <laughs> you're a fool. I was his bodyguard, okay? After everything got fucked up and they built the wall, we got overrun. He got bitten on the leg. I took him to Randall, the only doctor I knew in the slums, and we cut it off, clean. It was the only way. He would have turned if we hadn't done it. But the stubborn bastard never forgave us. So, we parted ways. So why are you trying to track him down now? Early on, the authorities evac all the political bigwigs out of the zone. Errol told us there was a chopper on the way to take us out with him. Then he got bitten. And with all the shit that happened after that, we missed the flight. But after you turned on the transmitter, we heard Errol asking for evac. And a couple of days ago, somebody responded. From outside. The old hmm. bastard's got a flight out, and I want a seat on it. All right, what about Rice? Does he care about this guy? Not a rat's ass. This was my business. I just want to get out of Haran. Yeah, well, looks like you won't be making that flight, huh? That had already dawned on me. But I'd like to walk out of here. Look, if I see you again... I'm gonna assume the worst, you got it? Fair enough. Good luck, Crane. You're going to need it. I assume that he was never completely loyal to Rise. He 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 kinda like indulged Crane and like talked to him and made jokes with him. This guy just seems like a dude that was just trying to like make ends meet for himself. Not that he was loyal to anybody in particular. So return to a roll to leave the building. I guess we're never going to see Kareem again.
Now we gotta return to your boy. Uh, stretch. Zombie, you completely 